Hi Capricorn, Aditi here with Lovestone Productions where we help you discover your true north. Ooh, we're going to do a general read for the month of December. Okay. Now bear in mind this is a general read and not everything is going to resonate with everyone. Um, if it does, be sure to hit the like, share, and subscribe button as well as the notification bell. Um, if it does not resonate, check your other placements. Also, Spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, which means that the timing may not necessarily be the same linear as it is in the divine. Whew. So, let's see. Um, if you would like to schedule a private reading, my contact information is also in the description box. All right, let's get started. Spirit angels, holy angels, holy guides, what information do we have for the sign of Capricorn for the month of December? Capricorn for the month of December 2020. Capricorn for December 2020. Make it plain. Make it plain. All right, so we've got the hangman. Got the page of cups. And the Ace of Cups, got the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. We also have the World card, the Eight of Swords, and the Star. All right. So, looks like you are taking a hard look at your emotions. Taking a hard look at information regarding your emotions and how that's going to work out for you moving forward. So, looking at this hangman card, um, same as the traditional, we have one bent leg, you've got the feathers, right? And then you also see all of the eyes here. So, this is you know, surrendering, looking at things differently, kind of stepping away from what you're used to seeing and taking a different approach, right? And so along with that, we have the Page of Cups here. And with pages, we're talking about like, the information, um, messages, when, when you have, even when you have like a, a holy procession, the page goes ahead and it goes ahead of the procession and gives the announcement that we've got king so-and-so or queen so-and-so from this land, da 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 It's, it's the announcement. It's the hear ye, hear ye, right? And so... This is the hear ye, hear ye of emotional content. So we're looking at also the Ace of Cups, which is the potential for emotional fulfillment. But with all Aces, they have to be accepted and cultivated before they can actually blossom into something else. Just because you have the ace doesn't necessarily mean that the ten is going to come if you don't put any effort into it, right? So coming up behind that, we've got the four of wands, we've got the ten of pentacles, and we have the six of wands. So the four of wands is about a solid foundation. This is the brick and mortar card for me. See, we've got the the older gentleman and he's you know he's got his comfortable clothes and he's got his parasol and things like he's he's chilling and you see he's walking by the huts and these huts are solid right made out of wood and 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 they're they're sturdy they're sturdy foundations so and he looks rather he looks rather pleased with himself right he's got the bird up here let you know that hey everything is chilling much like with the four of wands in the traditional rate of weight 
and you've got the bird on the top of those as well. Like it's 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 about this this foundation that you've laid is solid and it's you can build upon it, right? And then coming behind that is the Ten of Pentacles. It speaks to me of generational wealth. Okay, it's it's about a time of having everything that you need and then some. Okay, it's um, it's the tangible result of your hard work and your sacrifice. And then we've got the Six of Wands, which is the victory card. You've got the procession here, right? And you see, he's standing here and he's on the lion, the majestic lion, and and you've got Oshun and Yamaya over there tossing, tossing the petals like, yes, which leads to me that like it's not just it's not just a parade for a skin suits like the spirit spirit is celebrating. Spirit is celebrating you. Like, yes, you did a good job. High five. They're high fiving each other and high fiving you. And then you've got the victory wreath on top of the wand. Like, it's just, it's a, it's about being celebrated for your hard work, but not just with us. Like, all, all are celebrating your hard work and your triumph and then we've got the world card here all right and this is this is new beginnings right like check out check out the feel it's all it's clear it's it's all plowed it's all marked out all the rows are ready to go and we are standing in the center of this expecting a bountiful harvest eventually but right now we got a got a good place to start man it's looking good and then you've got the eight of swords here which by the way could be like a twofold thing now with the eight of swords like a lot of the times this is the self-imprisonment card right well in this one the way that this card is depicted it's it's protecting while this character is fighting the demon, right? And to prevent himself from going, falling into his own pitfalls, you've got the eight swords here protecting him from the hole, right? So you're, you're trying to keep yourself in a positive frame of mind you're working really hard at it, really hard at it, to get this here healing, start hard. All right, like you see that the potential is there and you see that you're kind of coming away from things and that it's, you just gotta, you just gotta stay on top of it because you're aware that your thoughts become your words and your words become your actions and then those actions become your reality and you're trying to make sure that you stay on that side of your thoughts so that your reality shapes up the way that you want it to. You with me? So to clarify, the hangman, the page of cups, and the ace of cups, we've got the fool, the nine of cups, and the Seven of Pentacles. One moment, please. So you're going towards emotional fulfillment and watching where your resources are going in the meantime. You are all about this new journey. You have taken the time to think about your situation in a new way and you are ready to go towards this new piece of emotional fulfillment. And if it costs 
if it costs you a little bit along the way, and so be it. But you're going towards, you are going towards what moves you. Because you know at the end of the day that fulfillment in your heart and in your soul means way more than fulfillment in your pocket. And that this, this is fine because you've got this coming in anyway. So you're looking at what's being, what's not working and changing what's not working. See, looking at what's not working and changing that so that you can get to this long-term stability here. So to clarify, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Cups, and the Victory, the Six of, the six of Wands, you've got the Hierophant, you've got the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. You're using your universal and divine knowledge to come into union with yourself and walking away from walking away from what doesn't serve you emotionally. The Hierophant is the keeper of ancient knowledge. He is your scholar. He is your priest. He is your, he's, he's the judge. He is, he is the systems that are put into place to maintain order in our souls, right? That's, that's what the Hierophant is. Um, the Two of Cups comes after the Ace of Cups. So when you have the potential for emotional fulfillment. This is like the splitting of that atom. It starts to make it more real, right? This emotional fulfillment and it feels great. Like, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, so that's what that feels like. Okay. So like, you know, when you get into like the early parts of a relationship and you're all giddy and happy, go lucky and all of that, that kind of embodies what the two of cups is. That's what I'm getting from this. So like there's there's great joy. Ha. You're finding great joy in great joy in the systems that are in place and walking away with the eight of cups. It's like walking away and going towards your ten of cups. Like I put a lot of work into this, I put a lot of effort into this. But I know that there's more here. So I have to go, I have to, I gotta leave this to go to to go to the ultimate fulfillment. Like this is nice, this is great, but I know that there's more. Right. So let's clarify the world card, the eight of swords, and the star card. The Devil, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. The Devil, the Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, the Devil can be a few things, right? The Devil could be an obsession, a compulsion, hanging on to something so tightly that it winds up becoming your downfall, right? Um, overindulgence. Um, sometimes the devil is like, you know, hey, you need to live a little, relax, kind of chill out, right? But even with that, if things are not done in moderation, they can wind up taking on a life of their own. And then you constantly find yourself feeding the need, right? 
And that's what this devil card represents or can represent. Like you see how it's it's the spider like. And each of these figures each of these figures are standing here within the net. I'm like, oh man, it was all pretty and shiny. I should have even walked in there. Like it's not shiny, it's sticky. And now I'm stuck and I'm mad about it, right? And then you've got the five of wands, which is like the royal rumble of cards. Like you're 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 fighting off everybody and everything. You know, it's it's conflict and it's being besought on all sides, right? And if you are entailed, if you're entangled in the spider's web, yeah, it kind of feels like five of wands, man. Because the more you struggle, the stickier it gets. It's and it can get it can get frustrating. And then you've got the nine of pentacles, right? And the nine of pentacles is the I can handle it, I can take care of myself kind of card. This is, you know, you're the a single person's card. I have what I need to be able to take care of myself. Like I got it. I'm abundant and I'm chilling. I'm chilling. So it's about, so what I'm getting from this is, hmm. Even if we put these two together like this, Oh my, oh my. So we've got the world and the devil put together. We've got that one, got that one singular figure in the center. You've got the rays on each. You've got the rays here and the rays here on each. My word. You've got two secondary figures. got the pipe and the sheath on the world card and then you've got the male and the female here on the devil wow wow I never really looked at this and then there's night and day huh And then looking at the Eight of Swords and the Five of Wands side by side, and you see the similarities with the both of these, right? You've got your Eight Swords all here on display. You've got your Five Wands here also on display. You've got Even the layout is similar. You've got your secondary, you've got your secondary figures facing the, actually you've got your primary figures facing the same way. That's, wow, that's, that's really cool. And then wait for it, wait for it. <clears throat> With the star and the knight of pentacles. Still similarities here. Like I got this. I can I can handle this. And even as she's got one hand reaching up to the heavens, and the other hand is cast down, but it's like the stars have manifested in the fruit. This is literally manna from heaven. Come on, spirit, you acting out now. You just, you just showing out now. All right, so let's uh, get some final messages. 
for Capricorn. Final messages for Capricorn for the month of December. Final pieces of advice. Excuse me. The Magician. Page of Wands. And the Four of Cups. The Magician. Page of Wands. And the Four of Cups. You have mastered these elements separately. And now it's time for you to work with the ethers and create the reality that you see for yourself. You have the passion to do it. And you also have a special gift handed to you just for you by the divine. But remember that you have to have your eyes open to be able to receive it. You've got to believe that what you're doing is real. You've got to, oh, come on, kids. You've got to believe, page of wands, messenger of passion. You've got to believe that what you're doing is real and that you have help from spirit. See that? And that you have help from spirit to be able to do the things that you need to do. Okay, Capricorn, thank you so much for spending time with me today. Again, if this resonated, please be sure to leave a comment. Let me know how these are playing out. Also, um, hit the notification bell because I do upload periodically. And yes, if you need to reach out to me, if you want to reach out to me, um, you can reach out to me via here on YouTube. I also have links for my other social media pages. I am on TikTok and I'm also on Instagram. Um, until we meet again, be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you all next time. See you later, Capricorn.